Hello there, Apps by Viewers. It's Peter here. This is Angry Birds Go, and uh, what on earth is that on the right-hand side of the play button? Let me just tap it and see. Oh, it's the multiplayer. So this is the brand new multiplayer update. This is part one of the multiplayer update, apparently. And we are going to race Maya, Trey, and Fabrizio on Rocky Road, because uh, they've been picked in the slot machine. So I'm gonna tap play. I've gone to my little vehicle, and uh, I don't want to play as them. I want to play as... Uh, I'm a staunch tradi uh, traditionalist, so I'm going to go with the red. And uh, I've got some money, so I may as well just up the acceleration there as well. Old habits die hard. Car is fully upgraded. Fantastic. So there we are. I'm going to hit play. And after a short load, here we are. Everyone's got 640 cc's, except for Mayor and Fabrizio's. So let's go. Starts off as normal. I'm using touchscreen controls, if you're wondering. And uh, I'm racing. There we are. This is the multiplayer. Isn't this rather exciting? Oh, I hit something there. Or oh, something hit me. However, I should probably point out that even though this looks like it's true multiplayer, it's not. You see, the carts that I'm racing against are actually time trials. So, it's kind of like the ghost racing in Real Racing 3, whereby you can interact with the other carts on the track, sure, but they aren't actually actively racing you. So, th this is sort of multiplayer in that they are real you know, times and, and, uh, and behaviours of other players. Get out of my way, you jerk! But they are, they're not actually there. We're not actually racing together. You know, I, I can't play them in real life. Uh, so I came third. That's not good. Mind you, I got a bronze. There we are. Got a bronze. So who are going to be my next opponents? June, Divs, and Lego Fana on air. Okay. So obviously, it does use the race courses from the main game. Air is a particular favourite of mine, even though I'm not particularly good at it. But you see, like, I'm not pulling back on the catapult, but neither is anybody else, and there's no 3 2 1. We're not racing at the same time. There we are. Oh, terrible start there. <laughs> oh, get out of the way, Jahoon. You Jahurk. So, I don't know, I think that this update is a, a good step forward for Angry Birds Go, and I have a bit of a soft spot for Angry Birds Go, as uh, many of you will have seen in the Angry Birds Go vs Mario Kart 8 video, uh, which I did uh, a month ago now. I do have a bit of a soft spot for the game, and I think the big issue has always been that multiplayer just isn't there, and this is a step in the right direction, I think. This is definitely a a step in the direction that I think most people who play this game want it to go in. Oh my word, come on. But it's still not actual PvP immediate multiplayer and I think that's a bit of a shame. It's a bit of a wasted opportunity I would say. But as I say, it is part one and uh, the time trial stuff works particularly well. You know, it, it all works just fine. You can interact with people. It's not ghost racing or anything like that. And uh, I think there's probably good reason here to go back and uh, give it a go again if you did like Angry Birds Go. So there we are, race over. That's the end of my hands-on. And uh, let me know if you'll be re-downloading it in the comments below. This is Peter with AppSpy.com. We review. You decide.